Good morning. <clears throat> come on. Come on in the room. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. Come on. <clears throat> Come on in the room. The Lord is here to meet us in this place. Good morning, good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We are glad in the goodness and the grace of our Father and our Lord and our King and our Mace and our Master. Can't talk, I have to say our Master. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Y'all come on in. Oh, and let's thank God for who he is. Thank God for his goodness and his grace. We thank God for <clears throat> his wonderful spirit and his presence. And this morning, we're just going to pray. We're just going to pray and thank God for who he is. This morning, we're going to worship the Father for who he is. This morning, we're going to love on him. And we're going to seize this opportunity. I guess I can turn my music off. We're going to seize this opportunity to bless the name of the Lord. Yes, Lord Jesus. He's so worthy. He's so worthy. He's so worthy. You know, this morning I was thinking about... <clears throat> You know, there's there's always um, something telling you why you can't do something and why you shouldn't do something. But when God calls you to do something, when there's something in your heart or uh, y'all, excuse me, I'm trying to turn the music off. But when there's something in your heart to do. God has placed something in your heart to do. You do it regardless. You do it regardless. Um you go on and do what the Lord, what thus saith the Lord, um, because the enemy will tell you so many reasons why you should not. The enemy will tell you so many reasons why you cannot. But Jesus is the one reason why you can. He is the one reason why you should. He lived. He 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 ministered. He suffered. He died. He bled. He died, but he rose again for us. And that is reason alone for us to bless his name. That is reason alone for us to continue in the way of the Lord. So I want you to be encouraged this morning, regardless of how much I sound <laughs> like a frog. I want you to bless the name of the Lord. Y'all get out of the bed, get out of the bed and reposition yourself and reposture yourself. Um, because Jesus took a posture for us. He took a posture on the cross and he died for us. So the least that we could do is move ourselves out of the way and get in the bed, uh, get out of the bed, not in the bed, get out of the bed for our Lord Jesus Christ. This morning, I just want to pray. It is just, I, I know we are going through the Proverbs and um, let me type this in there because there is in Proverbs 10, and I do want you to read the entire scripture. Um, but there's just a couple of them that I just, I want, I want to read. But I want you to remember Proverbs 10, verse 16. And I'm going to read that. Oh, here we go. Proverbs 10, verse 16. It says, the labor of the righteous tended to life, the fruit of the, um, attended to life, the fruit of the wicked to sin. And and what, what is the Lord saying right here? It says the earnings of the righteous, the upright and right standing with God lead to life. Keep working, keep moving, keep believing, keep praying, keep fasting, keep getting up and seeking the father. And not just that, but keep doing the righteous thing because your labor is not in vain. I think it was it the Clark sisters that sang a song long time ago that um, this song was, um, is my living in vain? No, 
Of course not. Your living is not in vain. Your seeking the Father is not in vain. Your living upright, your work in, in the kingdom is not in vain. But the enemy will try to give you every reason why it is. He'll tell you why you can't keep going forward. He'll tell you why you shouldn't or why you're not important or this, that, and the other. But your labor, it, it, it tends to life. So you keep going. You keep moving. You keep pressing past. You keep believing. Um, keep reading. I want you to read the entire um, passage of, of Proverbs 10. Proverbs 10, it... it um, and each verse, it tells you what um, the way of the blessed and the way of the sinner or the way of the evil man um, and giving you just encouragement and wisdom because <laughs> this is the book that we're reading. But it gives you wisdom on that. But um, there are so many people all across this world that don't have a mind to serve the Lord. They don't have a mind to continue in good things and there are some that may have, didn't even wake up this morning, didn't wake up this morning and their journey, they never began their journey because they didn't even have a mindset for the father or they rejected the father. They rejected wisdom. They rejected knowledge. They rejected the way of the Lord. Let that not be us. Let that not be us. Let's go before the father in prayer. Oh Lord God, I come before you this morning. We come before you to bless your holy name and to thank you, Lord God, to thank you for being a good king and a good master, to thank you for being our lead and our guide. Lord God, we thank you for the breath in our body and the activity of our limbs. God, we thank you for the mind that you continue to allow us to have the mind to serve you, the mind to come before your word. Lord God, the ability, Lord God, just to utter your name. Ah, oh, yes. Your name, Lord, Heavenly Father, is refreshing. Oh, Father, it is refreshing to be able just to worship you. It is refreshing to be able to call on your name, to be able to lift up our hands towards you, Lord God, and know that you see us and to know that, Lord God, that we're drawing nigh to you and you're drawing near to us. God, we're calling upon your name this morning. God, we call you because we need you. We call you because you're Jehovah God, because you're father, because you're king, because you're master. We call on you, Lord God, because we know that you'll answer us. We know, Lord God, that you hear our cry this morning. We thank you, oh God. Lord, we take the time this morning, Lord God, to give you the first fruits of our day, the first parts of our day. We give you this day, Lord God, because we want this day, Lord God, to be connected with you all day long, God. We want our labor, Lord God, to be, Lord God, in you and for you and to give you glory. God, we want our words and our ways to give you glory. We want, Lord God, our presence, Lord Heavenly Father, to exude you, Lord God. The people that we are around, we want them to feel your love and your strength, Lord God. We want them to feel, Lord God, your presence, Lord God. So we come before you this morning, Lord God, seeking after you, Lord God, not things, Lord God, but we do according to your word, Lord God, that says, seek ye first, Lord God, and your righteousness and all these other things will be added unto us, Lord God. We trust, Lord God, that you have all things work together, Lord God, for our very good. We trust, Lord God, that all things are working on our behalf, Lord God. And as we are in this arc of safety in you, Lord God, you are taking care of things in the background. Oh God, but we take the time, Lord, to bless you. We know that prayer still works. Prayer will always work. Seeking your face will always work. Calling on your name, oh great Jehovah God. Calling on your name, our Savior Jesus Christ, will always work. And we thank you, God. We thank you that we know that, God. We thank you, Lord God, that we are able to trust that, God. Oh, we thank you for it. God, we thank you for being a healer and a deliverer. We thank you, Lord God, for being a forgiver, Lord God, of our mistakes and our sins, Lord God, and our mishaps. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you for being our keeper, Lord God, when we didn't even want to keep ourselves, when we didn't know how to keep ourselves. God, we thank you. Father, we thank you this morning for 
for the sleep that you allowed us to have, for the homes that you allowed us to have, the blessings that you allowed us to have, God, the material things, Lord God, you allowed for us to have those things, God, but we're grateful so much for your voice, for your spirit that, that rests with us, oh God. Oh God, we're so grateful. We're grateful this morning. Lord God, the enemy tells us so much. Our flesh tells us so much. But God, we're grateful that we have life and we have your spirit and that your spirit speaks to us, oh God, and help us to be a people more and more, Lord God, that seek after your spirit and hear your spirit, glorify your spirit. And not just, oh, that the devil is busy or talk about what the devil is doing. But let us be a people that are constantly talking about you and what you're doing and being about your business. Father God, we pray for those, Lord, that we are connected to, that we know, Lord God, that don't know you in the pardon of their sins, that don't know you, Lord God, that don't know to seek after your face, that don't have the mindset, Lord, to seek after you. We pray for those, Lord God, that are going about their way, Lord God, and and, and not acknowledging you in their lives and are, are not, Lord God, even desiring after you. Oh God, we pray. We pray for men everywhere that they would come out of the place, Lord, where they are in their own egos and they are in their own mind. And Lord God, they are even in, in thinking about their own shortcomings, Lord God, that they are not coming to you, oh God. We pray for the fathers, the husbands, the brothers that are out there that have these internal struggles, Lord God. So much struggle, Lord God, that they can't even press towards you so much pressure around them, Lord God, that they can't even press towards you. The men, Lord God, that can't even lift up their hands to worship you. Lord God, we pray for men everywhere. We pray for the men, Lord Heavenly Father, that want to come forth but are afraid. The men that have been bruised, the men, Lord God, that have been hurt, Lord God, and they lack trust. They no longer hope. Lord God, there's inner fears on the inside, Lord God, and it's prohibiting them from going forth in you. But we thank you, Lord God, that you are causing your spirit, oh God, to surround them and to break those hard fortified walls. God, send them the word day after day, moment after moment, hour after hour, oh God. Send them the word, Lord God, that will break down every brick that is that they have built up that are keeping them away from you. God, we pray for your sons, oh God. Lord God, we align ourselves, oh God, with heaven. We agree with heaven that your sons, Lord God, will come forth. This earth is groaning, Lord God, for the manifestation of the sons of God, Lord God. It is, uh, it is groaning for them to come forth, oh God. And Lord God, we take the time to continuously pray, not just this morning, oh God, but let it be on our hearts throughout, Lord God, the day. Lord God, until, Lord God, you take it off of us, oh God, we will continue, oh God, to pray that your men will rise up. Those that will labor in the gospel. Those, Lord God, that will come forth to learn of you, O oh God. Those, Lord God, that want, Lord God, to be made whole in you, O oh God. That, Lord, will declare your word. That will do your works, Lord God. That their feet, Lord God, will go in the way that you have called them to. Oh God, help your sons, O oh God, to come forth. Help your sons to come out, Lord God, of the stigmas that the that the world has placed on them, Lord God, and the, the stresses and the strains that the world has put on them. Lord God, help your sons to come forth. Lord God, we thank you that for men in the gospel who feel the pressures of life, but also feel the pressures of ministry, I thank you, Lord God, that you are helping men everywhere that are laboring in the gospel, but the pressures are causing them to grow weary. I thank you, Lord God, 
for soundness of mind. <clears throat> Excuse me. I thank you for soundness of mind. I thank you for strength in the inner man. I thank you that you are giving them strength, oh God, to keep going, wisdom to keep going, that you give them help that helps them, Lord God, that upholds their arms, that bears them, Lord God, that upholds their back, Lord God, that gives them peace in their mind, that, that gives them what they need at the time so that they can go forth in what you have called them, Lord God. Help them not to come off the walls. Help them to, to not come off of their posts, Lord God. Help them to not lay down the mantle, Lord God, that you have placed on them. Help them, Lord God. Not to grow weary in well-doing. God, I thank you, oh God, for your men that you have called, Lord God, that they remain in the place that you have called them to, Lord God, that they have integrity, that they can continue to walk in integrity, that they can continue Continue to walk in righteousness and in holiness, Lord God. God, I thank you that you give them strength to be the men that you have called them to be. Help, Lord God, your sons. We pray this morning that you help your sons. Help your sons to come out of the chaos and the, the weariness, Lord God, the war and the battle that is in their mind, Lord God that is causing them to be weighted, that is causing the stone the rebesta, rust and the rebesi, robotos the vrenda, rata sevretish le da creda, that is causing them to even grow weary and, and, and walk slow in what you have called them to because of the weight in their body. We speak, Lord, Heavenly Father, peace to their minds, Lord God, strength to their mind, your word, Lord God, that we stand on, Lord God, and we declare, Lord God, that you have not given a spirit of fear, but one of love, power, and a sound mind. God, thank you for the sound mind for your sons who are laboring for their families, laboring for their churches, for their ministries, Lord God, laboring, Lord God. They want to get it right, God but it's so much pressure. Lord God, they're dealing with inner weariness and depressions that they can't even express. Yes, God, I thank you that you have sent a friend to them. Help your men have friends, Lord God, that they could turn to that would give them strength, that would help them, that would be a brother to them that would keep them in the way of righteousness. God, thank you. Oh God, we thank you that you're keeping our men. You're keeping our fathers. You're keeping our brothers. You're keeping your sons. We pray for protection over them, Lord God. You see your sons that are struggling, oh God and that may even be leaning towards the way of destruction, God, but we thank you that your love is bringing them back. Yes, I hear you, Lord. I hear you, Lord. The influence of the world is so strong. The influence, Lord God, of even giving up is so strong. The influence, Lord God, of just sitting down and giving up is so strong, God, but your influence is greater, oh God. Your love is greater, oh God. You are the greater one on the inside of them, oh God. I thank you, Lord God, that you would send reminders to them, Lord God, that they can keep hearing that they that the greater one is on the inside of them, oh God. Greater are you that is in them, Lord God, than he that is in the world, oh God. God calls your voice, oh God, to be the louder voice, oh God. Calls your voice to be the comforting voice, voice the strengthening voice, God. Call Lord, Heavenly Father, whatever needs to happen this very day, this very moment to cause your sons, oh God, to be encouraged in you and not to turn away and not to give up, oh God. Oh God, we're asking you to help, oh God, that they not give up, oh God. The enemy is bound and rendered powerless. His influence, oh God, is rendered powerless right now. We agree with heaven, oh Oh God, that your sons have the strength of heaven with them, oh God. We call on the God, the Lord of Sabaoth, with your host of heaven, oh God, to surround your men, oh God, that the influence of heaven 
will gird them up and keep them in the way. God, thank you that you would do it. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. We thank you this morning. Yes, Lord, we thank you. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord God, that you are orchestrating. You are bringing, Lord God, the resources that are needed, God, causing a breakthrough. God, I thank you that you are bringing breakthroughs all across this nation, all across this world, Lord God. You know the specific people, Lord God, that need the breakthrough this day, Lord God. Prove yourself to your sons. Show yourself to your sons. Where they were about to give up hope. The one that has said, Lord God, if this doesn't come through, I don't know how to hope anything else in you. If this doesn't happen, Lord God, the one that has said, Lord, prove that has asked you to prove yourself. God, we know you don't have to. You've done enough to prove yourself. You don't have to. But Lord, you love us enough. You're mindful of us enough that you would answer those prayers, that you would show your son, I hear your prayer. I hear your cry. And what you are doing is not in vain. And you bring the resource. You bring the persons. You, Lord God, open the doors that have been shut so many times. God, help your sons to see in the midst of their anger, in the midst of their crying, in the midst of their frustration, Lord God, with their, their children, with their wives, with, Lord God, their, their fathers, with, the, with their mothers, Lord God, or with their family members, with their, on their jobs, those, Lord God, that are even incarcerated, Lord God, you find your men and you know exactly who has, you know far beyond their, what my little mind can articulate, God. I'm just asking you, and we are just, uh, Lord God, standing in agreement with heaven, Lord God, that you would answer the cries of your son. Lord God, you said that, oh God, that the, those that would call upon you shall be saved, Lord God. Your sons are calling on you, oh God. We're asking you to hear. Yes, God, we're asking you to hear this mighty day. <laughs> we ask you to hear this mighty day, oh God. And let the unbelievers see, that the doubting see, the doubting experience your love, your truth, your provision, your mindfulness. Oh, we thank you, God. Oh, we thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for proving yourself. And Father, you will get all the glory. Lord God, your sons, Lord God, will be drawn to you more and they will work, Lord God, for you, Lord God in integrity and in might, Lord God. Glorifying your name at every end. Glorifying your name, oh God. Glorifying the kingdom, Lord God. Denying the evil works and giving you glory. We thank you for it, oh God. In your son Jesus' name, we pray and give you all the glory and the honor today. Yes, your name shall be glorified. Thank you for the strength of your sons. You said Jesus' name. Amen. 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 There's so many men that whose faces have come up throughout the prayer and, and as we were praying. And this day, God's sons, his creation, his male creation is on his heart and his mind, and he's placed it on our heart and mind that we continue to pray for him. But it's so many that are coming to mind. See, men handle things differently than we do women. And God knows how to get to them. God knows how to reach them. He knows how to send the right word. He knows how to send the right help, the right friend. And we continue to pray that those very things that are needed to break down these fortified walls will come today so that men, even men in the gospel, will not give up. Ah! <laughs> yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Every man that you know today, encourage him. 
Love on him as the Lord would have you to love on him. Whether he be your best friend, your cousin, your brother, your father, your husband, your pastor, whomever it may be, encourage men all across this nation. The enemy cannot have them. His influence is bound and rendered powerless. But the influence of heaven, the influence of Christ is greater because the greater one is on the inside of our men, of God's created men, his sons. Oh, I'm so encouraged in my soul. Y'all have a wonderful day. And remember Proverbs 10 and 16, the labor of the righteous tended to life. the labor of the righteous tended to life. I love y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a prosperous Wednesday. Prosperous Wednesday. Prosperous Wednesday. Strong Wednesday. And keep hearing the voice of the Lord. I love you guys. Bye-bye.